unexploded devices dating from the colonial era are still buried underground with some looking simple but dangerous. Some of the explosives were fired but did not detonate while some are landmines planted by former South African soldiers. Anti-personnel and anti-tank mines were also deliberately planted underground to injure people. This has prompted Oshikoto Explosive Control Subdivision Unit to launch a Don't Touch It reported campaign in 2004 to educate the public about the dangers of explosives, especially in areas where military camps and shooting ranges were located. The object was brought at his homestead by his children some months ago. He kept the object safely for three months in his homestead so that he can take it to his cattle post to add it to his hammer handler. In a few seconds, the ordinance exploded and injured him on the chest. He was rushed to Okankolo Health Center but later transferred to Onanjokwe Lutheran Hospital. His condition was described as stable. The incident took place at his cattle post at Onimindele in Okankolo constituency of the Oshikoto region. The object looked simple. One would not suspect that it was an explosive. But it nearly killed me. Thanks to God, he saved me. Last year, a nine-year-old boy died instantly at Oshungu village in the Omsati region when an ordinance he was playing with exploded.